Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to pass your CompTIA Security Plus. So if you guys are ready for the video, let's have some fun. Before so, please like, subscribe, and share. Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to pass the CompTIA Security Plus. I just want to let you know in the last month and a half, maybe two months now, I mentored six people that actually passed the exam doing exactly what I said. So everyone has their own path, but I want to show you that this way really works and I'll show you everything that I guided them with and they did and a month and a half of studying, doing what I said, they passed the exam. And I'll also tell you that when I did it, I did similar stuff, right? I did flashcards and all that good stuff, but we're gonna get into what I did back then and what I would recommend in 2024. So the first things first, I always recommend ACI Learning, also known as IT Pro TV. You can get the link in the description if you wanna get a 30% discount. I think it's 30%, but you'll get a discount, not full price. So you can go to their catalog, you go to their Security Plus and the SYO701 exam, which is the latest and greatest. So what will you learn on your CompTIA Security Plus? So there's so much stuff. There goes my boy Dan, there's Anthony, and I'm not sure who this guy is, so we'll find out in a minute. But Anthony used to work at CBT Nuggets. Dan is a good friend of mine, so you're in good hands with these folks. If we come down here, here's the topics that we're gonna cover. You're gonna understand the course overview of the Security Plus, general security concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security architecture, security operations, and then security program management and oversight. This is key. If you wanna become a blue teamer or red teamer or whatever, GRC or whatever you wanna do, this is a stepping stone in order to get to that point. That's just what I say. I don't say, okay, go get your PMPT or OSCP or whatever if you're working at you know, Pasquale's uh, Pizza Parlor today and tomorrow you wanna be you know, a cybersecurity engineer. It's not gonna work that way. So there is an actual way to do it. And this is the way I always recommend. And like I said, the last two months and the last year, you know, the last two months I had six people pass. Since I've been doing my mentoring program, and I think I started it in December, really in January, so it's been, what, eight months? I think I have 27 people passing the Security Plus. I don't really talk about that, you know, the wins and everything like that. I celebrate with the folks that I tutor and I mentor, and I celebrate with them. But yes, thus far, in about, what, eight months, you know, there was almost 30 people passing the Security Plus doing exactly this strategy. So I recommend this ACI learning because I trust the trainers there and all that stuff. So you can train your team. You can get a whole bunch of different options. Individual, you can see IT Pro TV. So you can see the pricing, team pricing, individual pricing. So it's about 60 bucks a month, take 30% off of that. So the next one I always recommend is CBT Nuggets. This is another one that I'm a big fan of and I've always talked about that. Not only because I love Keith Barker and he's like a mentor to me, but I always love the way they train. They do it in chunks and little nuggets, right? So maybe this is better for you. If you only want to see five minutes, you know, no more than 10 minutes of training at a time, CBT Nuggets is for you. You know, if you have a long attention span, you can go for other places. But I want to show you everything that I recommend and give it a shot and see which one works for you. So CBT Nuggets obviously is, you know, it's 29 hours of training, 32 skills, 277 videos, zero virtual labs, and zero practice tests. So we'll talk about practice tests and all that stuff shortly. So who should take it? Obviously anyone that wants to get their Security Plus and learn more about the information security and cybersecurity world. The trainer is Eric. I'm not sure who Eric is. I don't know, I never seen him train, so I don't know how he is, but he's probably really good because CBT Nuggets has a good reputation, right? So if we come down, we can see obviously all the skills that are taught. It's probably taught the same as a syllabus for the Security Plus, so you can check out that. And the next one I wanna talk about is Jason Dion. So obviously it all depends on how much you wanna spend as well and all that good stuff. So you have $120 here and you get Security Plus complete course and exam. So this, I believe the exam is actually a practice test. And this is so critical when you're doing any exam, right? Especially a, a 
questions, a, a multiple choice question exam. If you're doing obviously like OSCP, PMPT, CRTP, you know, all these other uh, CPTS, all these hands-on, this is a little different of training, but you still have to mentally prepare for your exam. So having those exam questions and everything like that to get prepared is so critical because it gets you in that mindset of testing. Okay, so what will you learn? Same, pretty much the same principles, same things that you'll learn with everywhere else. Like I said, it all depends on what your preference is. This is $120. The other ones are subscription based per month. And out of the six people, three of them use Jason Dion and two of them use CBT Nuggets and one used IP, uh, IT Pro TV. Okay, and they all liked it for their specific reasons, right? Like I said, if you like, if you have a long attention span, you know, maybe IT Pro TV is good for you because, you know, their videos are a little longer. CBT Nuggets are a little shorter. So here we have 29 sections, 264 lectures, and 31 hours worth of training. And you can see, let's, uh, you have introductions, fundamentals of security, threat actors, physical security, social engineering, malware, data protection, and so on and so forth, right? You can just go onto their site. Uh, on Udemy, do CompTIA Security Plus, and you can see them there. Okay, so the next one I wanna talk about some books. These are critical too. I enjoy books. I like to have them in my, you know, in my presence. I like to highlight them. I don't like PDFs, so that's just me. So the first one I would recommend, obviously I have, I have the book right behind me and it's from Ian Neal. It's really, really good. I loved it. It really prepared two, two of my students or two of the people I mentored bought this book and said it was phenomenal. So definitely do that. And then also you get a 12% uh, discount on your voucher, right? So this is definitely a good book to get. The next book, which I really recommend is the study guide. This is the CompTIA study guide and it's over 500 test questions for the 701. Remember, Testing with multiple choice exams and learning the concepts of what kind of questions are presented is super critical. I remember when I started doing CompTIA, Microsoft exams, you know, I didn't know anything about that. I was, you know, studying or reading a book or whatever, but I wasn't really practicing questions. And I remember taking my first exam, which was the MCP, Microsoft Certified Professional for Windows XP. I wasn't expecting the kind of questions they were, you know, we're asking because I wasn't prepared, right? So having these uh, preparation questions will definitely make you succeed. It's, it's a game changer, okay? So you can get this book for, I don't even know, $33. And, you know, you can call it a day. You can obviously have the $32 so you can have the hard copy. I like the paperback copies. All right, so the next one here I wanna talk about is Get Certified Ahead. So this is from Joe and Daryl. This book was phenomenal as well. I don't have it. I, I seen the PDF because one of my mentees actually got this book and he thought it was phenomenal. So it really, really helped him out. And yeah, that was really, really something that I wanted to bring up. So we talk about training videos, books, and obviously learning the questions and understanding some of their uh, test questions, how they're prepared. So let me see if there's any other there is other, you know, ways to do it as well. I just have some notes here, which is some flashcards. You can do flashcards. You can do stuff like that. You can go right online and, you know, you can go do it online or you can be old school, have it like in a Rolodex, write it down, put it, and then like maybe ask your friend or your family member to question you on the specific topic. And that's always uh, beneficial. I want to talk about some of the stories of this, you know, I call it the secret sauce, but I need to get some secret tea because I'm, my throat is hurting. Preparations to passing this exam is obviously hard work, study hard, discipline, focus, and motivation. And I made a video on my work-life balance. Pretty much that translates to anything that I do, right? Studying wise. I want to make my preparation, my plan for the day, my study time, and then my disconnect time and all that stuff. Obviously this may sound cliche or might sound super easy, but do it and you'll see it make a difference. All right, so obviously I, I put a little note here and one of my students actually failed uh, in, it was a network plus, it wasn't the security plus. It was in March. I was training him from January, oh, excuse me, from February to March. And he's like, I'm ready. I'm like, okay, let's go over 
what have you done, et cetera, et cetera. And he didn't really do much. And I'm like, I think you should postpone it a little bit longer to learn more about these protocols and learn about this, that, and the other where I thought he was weak. And he was like, no, I'm good. He took the exam. I was like, hey, pal, how did you do? I failed. Okay, so can you please make some, you know, changes and do X, Y, and Z and then take it again. And that dude aced the shit out of it, right? So just make sure you get well prepared and a good night's sleep too. I don't know if I said that. So here are some tips to succeed. Obviously, make time to study. Obviously, create a study schedule and stick to it. That's super, super critical, right? Aim for at least a couple hours a day to study. I'm just taking this off what I do and I just translate to others, right? So like I, saying, like I said before, I'm studying for like CPTS. I did a few of the of the uh, pro lab. I did all of them actually. I just finished cybernetics, but all of the pro labs in the last two months, I did them all. And I was very disciplined of what I did each day, where I, where I sucked at, did some research, contacted folks on discord. Hey man, I'm really shitty with C from, for an example, I want to learn how to do this, this, and that. What are some really good tools, maybe some videos, or can we jump on a call and there was two people that actually helped me out, you know, spent an hour, a couple nights when I was doing the APT labs, which is the hardest one that I needed some guidance, right? Because I wanted to get it done and I got it done. So I really want it, you know, it's, it's something that I really wanted to do. And I, you know, I didn't want to spend money on another month of pro labs. And that's why I wanted to get everything done within the month. And Prior to actually getting it, I had two friends that actually had the pro labs. So I seen some of the, 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 the lab and I wanted to, you know, help because it's all about helping others, right? So I was helping them with some stuff and I was like, okay, let's jump into this one. I want to see what it's about. But anyhow, that's, you know, and I was like, okay, I think this would be cool. So I started the uh, pro labs journey and here we are today, a month and a half, well, it's a month later almost, and they're all done. Anyhow. So that's to make the time for studying. I know I went on a rant. Consistent effort. What does this mean? Obviously, consistency is key. It's super crucial because if you're not consistent, you're going to fail miserably, right? It's like if, if I'm going to go to the gym, right? The last month and a half, all right, I, I want to give you a personal story, right? We're going to DEF CON this week or is it next, this week, right? So I, want, I wanted to get in a certain shape in the last seven weeks, right? So I had to make sure I ate this many calories. I had to make sure I had to go to the gym. I had to make sure I had to get enough sleep. I had to make sure this, that, and the other. So the consistency over the last month, I was I was trying to lean out from January till, I don't know, July. Or, uh, yeah, July, I was bulking. So a lot of people saw that I was getting bigger because I was eating a lot more and I was trying to put on weight, right? My goal was 200 pounds. I never hit 200 pounds in my damn life. I was like 193. Now I'm like 178 or 179 or something like that. So I drop weight really easy because I'm fucking skinny. But, you know, to keep weight and keep muscle on, it's hard. So the consistency really helped. Okay, that's a little side note. All right, so the exam requires 100 hours of studying over the, you know, two to four months. So what does that mean? Make sure you study whatever. If you're doing CBC Nuggets, Jason Dion, uh, IT Pro TV, whatever you use, make sure you at least dedicate a hundred hours, and that's true. It, it, it's and once you start that journey, you're gonna see, start documenting how many hours you spend, and then you'll see it probably equals between eighty and hundred hours. The next one is sacrifice for success. What does this mean? Obviously, <laughs> don't sacrifice everything. But like, say for example, you want to go out with your friends on a Friday night. Fuck them. Say, hey man, I'm studying. I need to make sure I get my deadline in. I'll see you next month or whatever it is. Or you know, maybe you can compromise, dedicate. You say, hey, man, Friday night dinner or whatever, Friday night out. You know, I'm only staying out from, I, I want to, we usually go out from 9 to 11 or 9 to midnight or whatever. I, I can go out from 7 to 9 and then 9 to 11, you can study. Something like that, right? Whatever works for you. I'm just giving you ideas. So cut out distractions like video games, Netflix, and then just focus on your studies, Right. I just put video games and Netflix because that's what a lot of people do, right? Video games, Netflix, and just, I, I put in sports, but there's no sport, at least for me right now, this is my uh, go time, right? Because hockey season isn't on. And the last thing I want to say before I end this video is enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, learn something new every single day, 
and just accomplish those small milestones because it will make a difference and it makes you excited about what's happening next, right? I remember when I was doing these pro labs, I was like, man, I don't know if I can do these, right? Like in the beginning, it was like, it was like two years ago. And I was like, I don't know, three years ago, something like that. I think it was 2021. When they first started coming out with them, when they started getting hot, I was like, I don't know if I can do those, you know? And once I started doing more hack the box and more CTFs, because it's, you know, at the end of the day, yes, they're more realistic than the normal CTFs, but I was just like, I'm not ready until I put my big boy pants on. I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it, you know? So then I started doing it. So enjoy the process. Embrace the, you know, I, I've said this in, in my little uh, notes here. Embrace the learning process and commit to the long-term journey of learning. So that's it. Hopefully you stay motivated, stay consistent and get that security plus. And if you have your security plus, you're studying for your security plus or you going to get it, please save this video, comment below saying I'm studying for it. I'm studying for it. I'm I passed it. And I want to know how you did it. Join my Discord, you know, write me, however, cuz I want to know if there's something that I can add to the future. But thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you guys in the next one.